Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Janice Nolan. I'm the National Assistant Vice President for Policy for the American Lung Association. We really appreciate you joining us tonight for this advanced screening of Asthma Alley, a short documentary film from Ground Truth Films. The film portrays a neighborhood in the Bronx with extraordinarily high asthma rates as well as poor air quality. One of the things we have learned is that numbers don't always motivate people, but hearing stories, hearing a child talk about her problems breathing, seeing her in the hospital, listening to her mother, those are things you're going to remember, like I do, the rest of your life. I was like, I was like, I'm not breathing. I ran home. I couldn't really grasp things. I was shaking. My name is Congressman Jose Serrano, and I represent the South Bronx, which happens to be the same community where tonight's documentary was filmed. While tonight's focus is on my community, there are millions of Americans impacted by this chronic disease every day across the 50 states and the territories, especially within communities of color. For this film to show what this one community goes through, people are suffering every day and we have to continue to fight it so that people can breathe easier and people can have just a better life. My name is Charmaine Anderson. I'm the Director of Advocacy for Allergy and Asthma Network. It is a chronic disease that can ultimately lead to death. And, I'm t and as one who lives with asthma day to day, it truly is a life or death situation when you can't breathe. Hi, I'm Kenny Mendez, the President and CEO of the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. What is climate change going to do and what's the impact of it in the future? Well, I think the point of this film is it's happening now and the science shows that if you want to figure out what climate change is going to do to the future in the countryside, just go to the city. And if you're in that kind of city environment, you'll see that higher rates of pollen, uh, ozone, carbon dioxide, all that is magnified in the city and that's what climate change does and it will do to the rest of the country. My name is Michael Johnson. I'm a co-founding member of South Bronx Unite. The film is an ability, as it can be used as a tool to bring awareness to how dire the situation is and I think those tools are seed planting. They're, they're the seeds of change. That's how we change consciousness. That's how we increase awareness. That's why I want this film to be shown in the South Bronx, right where it's happening most but on other communities that are just like ours, that are suffering and going through the same things and think they're going through it alone. It needs not to be that. It needs to be shared so folks know that this, they have camaraderie, they have understand, this understanding that it's an epidemic. There's a problem that's affecting many and we can solve it. We can create solutions. 